Before we delve into the saga of Maharaja Ranjit Singh, let's journey back to the turbulent era that preceded his reign. The 18th century was a time of great turmoil in the region of Punjab. The once formidable Mughal Empire was in decline, its authority dwindling and its control over the vast territories it once commanded slipping away. Political instability was the order of the day and the power vacuum left in the wake of the Mughals' retreat was quickly filled by a multitude of small princely states, each vying for supremacy. These states, though rich and culturally vibrant, were fragmented, scattered like a mosaic across the region. They were like islands in a sea of chaos, each governed by its own ruler, its own laws and its own customs. Unity was a distant dream, a concept as elusive as a mirage in the scorching desert sun. Adding to the upheaval was the constant threat of invasions from the northwest frontiers. The mighty mountains that once served as a natural fortress were now just a gateway for marauders. Invaders from Afghanistan and beyond would sweep down into the plains of Punjab, leaving a trail of destruction in their way. The land that was once known for its prosperity was now a battleground, its people living in the shadow of fear and uncertainty. Yet it was in this landscape of chaos and disarray, where the seeds of a new power were being sown, a power that would not only rise above the political instability, but would also unite the fragmented states into a single entity. A power that would turn the tide against the invaders and restore peace and prosperity to the land. This power was not an idea nor a movement. It was a man, a man of vision, courage and indomitable spirit. A man who would come to be known as the Lion of Punjab, Maharaja Ranjit Singh. In this chaos and confusion, a new power was about to rise, a power that would unite the fragmented states and establish an era of prosperity and peace. That power was Maharaja Ranjit Singh. Maharaja Ranjit Singh ascended to the throne at a young age, heralding the beginning of a new era in Punjab. Born in 1780, the young lion of Punjab was thrust into the world of power and politics at the tender age of 10. Despite the challenges of his early years, he rose to the occasion, showing the world a leader in the making. Ranjit Singh's early life was marked by bravery and strategic acumen. His ascension to the throne came at a time when the region was fraught with conflict. However, he turned the tides of turmoil into waves of victory, establishing the Sikh Empire in the heart of Punjab. His early victories, such as the conquest of Lahore in 1799, set the stage for what was to become one of the most powerful empires in India. But Ranjit Singh was not just a warrior. He was a visionary leader who understood the importance of strong governance. His administrative skills were as sharp as his sword. He introduced policies that promoted justice and equality, laying the foundation for a society where everyone, regardless of their caste or creed, could prosper. He also prioritized education and infrastructure development, transforming Punjab into a region of growth and progress. Furthermore, his military strategies were revolutionary. He modernized his army, incorporating European techniques and weaponry. This not only strengthened his military might, but also fostered a culture of innovation within his empire. He understood that to build a strong kingdom, he needed a strong army, and he left no stone unturned to ensure that. With his exceptional military strategies, administrative skills and vision, Maharaja Ranjit Singh was creating an empire that was soon to become the pride of Punjab. His reign was not just about conquests and victories, it was about building a society where justice prevailed, where progress was the norm, and where people could live in peace and prosperity. And while his journey was marked by many challenges, his legacy continues to inspire, reminding us of the golden era of the Lion of Punjab. Under the aegis of Maharaja Ranjit Singh, Punjab experienced its golden era. This was a time when the sun of prosperity shone brightly over the land, casting away the shadows of strife and discord that had fallen before. One of the cardinal aspects of Singh's reign was the modernization of his army. He recognized the importance of a strong military force, not just for defense, but also to maintain law and order within his kingdom. To this end, he invited European officers to train his soldiers, transforming a once ragtag band of warriors into a formidable army. He integrated modern weaponry and tactics, ensuring his troops were a match for any adversary they might face. Yet, the Maharaja was not just a military strategist. He was a visionary leader who understood the power of unity and diversity. 
He promoted secularism, ensuring all religions were respected and given equal rights within his kingdom. His court was a melting pot of different cultures, a testament to his belief in the strength of diversity. People from all walks of life, regardless of their religious or ethnic background, were given the opportunity to serve and contribute to the kingdom. Infrastructure also saw a significant boost during his reign. Roads were built, bridges were constructed and canals were dug. These developments not only facilitated trade and commerce, but also improved the lives of the common people. Punjab, under his rule, was not just a military stronghold, but also a thriving hub of economic activity. In the sphere of diplomacy, Singh was a shrewd tactician. His relations with British India were marked by a delicate balance of power. While he maintained a cordial relationship with the British, he ensured his kingdom retained its autonomy and sovereignty. His diplomatic acumen also extended to his dealings with neighboring states, fostering peace and stability in the region. Under his rule, Punjab flourished. It was a time of peace, a time of prosperity. The fields were lush with crops, the markets bustled with activity, and the people lived in harmony. It was a period of growth and development, a time when the arts and culture thrive. The kingdom became a beacon of progress, a testament to the Maharaja's visionary leadership. His reign was not just about military conquests or territorial expansions. It was about building a kingdom where people of all faiths could live in harmony, where progress and prosperity were not just dreams, but realities. It was about creating a legacy that would endure long after his reign ended. Maharaja Ranjit Singh's reign was a period of relative peace, prosperity and progress a golden era that stands out in the history of Punjab. It was a time when the Lion of Punjab roared and the echoes of that roar can still be heard today. His reign was a golden chapter in the annals of Punjab, a time when the kingdom shone with the brilliance of a thousand suns. The legacy of Maharaja Ranjit Singh continues to resonate in the hearts and minds of people even today. His reign, often referred to as the golden era of Punjab, brought about a transformative wave that touched every aspect of life, shaping the socio-cultural fabric of Punjab in ways that still persist. Maharaja Ranjit Singh's rule was marked by a harmonious blend of cultural diversity. He championed a society where everyone, irrespective of their religious or ethnic backgrounds, could live in peace and prosperity. His court was a melting pot of cultures, where Hindu, Muslim and Sikh scholars held prominent positions. This pluralistic ethos, instituted by the Maharaja, was a testament to his vision for a unified Punjab, a vision that continues to influence the socio-cultural dynamics of the region today. His reign also saw the construction of several architectural marvels that remain standing as symbols of his visionary leadership. One such monument is the iconic Harmandir Sahib, or the Golden Temple, in Amritsar. The gold plating that gives the temple its name was commissioned by Maharaja Ranjit Singh, reflecting his deep reverence for the Sikh faith. Other notable structures include the Lahore Fort and the Hazuri Bagh Baradari, both of which are remarkable examples of the architectural grandeur of his time. These edifices, each a testament to the Maharaja's commitment to art and culture, continue to draw admirers from around the world. But perhaps the most enduring aspect of Maharaja Ranjit Singh's legacy is his profound influence on the modern image of the Sikh community. The Maharaja, himself a devout Sikh, was instrumental in shaping the identity of the Sikh community during his reign. He established the Khalsa, a military and spiritual order within Sikhism, which played a key role in defending Punjab against external threats. The principles of the Khalsa, including courage, discipline and service to others, continue to guide the Sikh community today. The distinctive turban and beard, considered symbols of Sikh pride and identity, were also popularized during his reign. Furthermore, Maharaja Ranjit Singh's rule was characterized by his commitment to justice and equality. His laws were fair, his administration efficient, and his commitment to the welfare of his subjects unwavering. These qualities earned him the love and respect of his people, and his legacy as a just and compassionate ruler remains etched in the collective memory of Punjab. Maharaja Ranjit Singh, the Lion of Punjab, left an indelible mark on the history of Punjab. His legacy is a testament to his vision, courage and leadership. It is a legacy that continues to inspire